What's going on, everyone? So, Christian Wood had this to say about the Lakers and J.J. Redick and his kind of role this season. Uh, so, that I can go back to playing like I did in Dallas and Houston. I think last year, what was asked of me wasn't more so scoring. It was more so, we need defensive rebounding. This year, he was like, hey man, if you have a mismatch, I want you to take advantage of it. I want you to use all of your abilities, and I want you to take bigger guys off the dribble and post little guys up. That's what I'm going to get back to. So, again, you look at Christian Wood, and you look at the way that Darvin Ham utilized Christian Wood. He was one of the guys that bothered me the most last season. I repeatedly talked about this and discussed this, that I, most of the time, Darvin Ham had him either completely slotted out of position or not maximizing what he is best at. Darvin Ham utilized Christian Wood as if he was a 3 and D wing rather than a big man who can stretch the floor, right? And... Yes, I know Christian Wood, he's like 6'8", 6'9". Uh, he's got like a 7'2", seven, 7'3", seven, wingspan. But he's played and built a career at being that power forward center. right? Small ball center, but probably closer to a power forward. Right? And instead, they utilized him as if he was a shooting guard. I mean, most of the time, he was at the top of the key. Right? Like, that's not his game. And like... Christian Wood said, J.J. Redick is empowering him. Get back to being Dallas, right? Beat, beat the big guys off the dribble. Use your strengths. Use your advantages. Put yourself in the position to dominate on the basketball court, right? Obviously, J.J. Redick wants him to rebound. Obviously, J.J. Redick wants him to defend. Obviously, J.J. Redick wants him to do all those things. But he's asking him, hey, be more aggressive. Be more assertive. We're going to put you in spots particularly on the offensive floor. Don't settle, right? You saw almost all of Christian Wood's scoring around the rim was from Christian Wood having to put the ball on the deck rather than being in an established position, somebody dumping the ball down to him and he going to work, right? Or him getting the ball, you know, say say high post and then just working his way down. Right? Like, utilize Christian Wood. This is a guy... That literally, a, the year prior to being with the Lakers was a 17-8 and eight guy. Or 17-7 and seven guy. It's a guy that has had seasons where he's given you 21-10 and 10 with Houston. And he's a guy that I do believe can get back to that. You know, I, I've talked about like, guys that I think have the most likely to be kind of our sixth man. And Christian Wood is at the top of the list. Because he's been a guy that in a backup role, in a bench role, was giving you 18 points per game with eight rebounds, uh, two assists, a block. Like, if he could give that for us off the bench in, you know, 25, 26 minutes, he, for Dallas, look at Dallas. 67 games, 17 games started. He averaged 25.9 minutes. On 11 and a half attempts, he shot 51.5% from the floor. He shot 37.6% from three on 4.2 attempts. And then he shot 59.4% uh, on 7.3 two-point attempts, right? And then he had an EFG of 58.3%. Uh, shot 77.2% from the foul line on 4.2 attempts. Averaged 7.3 rebounds, 1.3 offensive, uh, 1.8 assists, half a steal, and 1.1 blocks, Again, 16, 17, 16.6 uh, .6 points, so basically 17 points. 17 and 7 guy on 59% shooting, right? Like, it's great. But you look at last year, and it was like he played 17.4 minutes. He shot 30% from 3 on 2.3 attempts. Uh, he shot 58.7% um, on 2 attempts, but only took 3. He took five total attempts, and half of them were three-point attempts. Where you look at, again, the previous year with Dallas, and he took 11 attempts, were only four. So a third. It's the difference. Right? When he's able to get around the rim, and he's able to knock down shots, he's able to see the ball go through the hoop, and, and then he's a guy that you put on the block. You put him alongside Anthony Davis, 
At times you put him in place of Anthony Davis. He's a guy that you, you put down low and on occasion he can stretch the floor. It's not what Darvin Ham did. Darvin Ham utilized him as a guy that could stretch the floor and on occasion could go on the block. Utilized him in reverse. J.J. Redick, I talked about this when we hired him, right? I made a video about Wood and the impact that J.J. Redick would have on Wood. And I said that J.J. Redick's going to properly slot Wood. There's go He, more times than not, is going to be in the right position. Now, there are going to be times, you know, where you're trying to draw out you know, the defender or whatever, and he's not going to be sought in a position, but that's probably going to be few and far between. On the offensive side, you are going to have him in mismatches. You're going to exploit teams' weaknesses, teams' holes by getting Christian Wood in position. He is the closest thing we have to Anthony Davis. Not in the defensive side of things, but that versatile big man that can shoot over the top, operate in the mid-range, step, step out, knock down the, the three-point shot, uh, Take, beat guys off the dribble. He can defend out on the perimeter. He's actually very good at defending in the pick and roll and out in the perimeter period. We saw him literally clamp up Kevin Durant and do it great because he's really good at giving space and closing with that long wingspan, right? So he can defend, but Anthony Davis is Anthony Davis, right? But as far as the offensive side of things, Christian Wood is the closest thing we have to a big man that gives you that offensive versatility and his ability to make plays. He's a guy that can make passes out of the post, you know, uh, pass throughout the double team, all of it. Right? So why not utilize him, right? Like you're going to, ha you have a specific utilization for Anthony Davis on the offensive side. You can do all the same things with Christian Wood. So when Anthony Davis goes to the bench and is just, you know, chilling, getting some rest, you can put Christian Wood out there and allow Christian Wood to do the exact, run the exact same offense and not skip a beat. Because Christian Wood can knock down the mid range. He can knock down the three ball, and he can post up and score around the rim. Beat bigger guys off the dribble and post up smaller guys. Literally, why wouldn't you utilize him that way? He's a guy that can come in and really make an impact. It's not that long ago. This time last year, there was genuine conversation of, does Christian Wood make the Lakers the best team in the league? There was genuine, I mean, even by Laker haters, even people that can't stand the Lakers, there was genuine talk and conversation about did Christian Wood, was Christian Wood the piece that puts the Lakers over the top? Because he's that dynamic. He's a guy that give you, again, 17 and 7 off the bench. Off the bench as a 6th, 7th, 8th man. He go give you that. There's very few guys that can do that. To him, it's about the role. It's about the opportunity. He's a guy you can slot alongside Anthony Davis. You can even have Anthony Davis play the four if you want to. Christian Wood isn't Christian Wood on an island is not a good shot blocker. If you put Christian Wood out there to basically essentially fend for himself, then no, he's not a good shot blocker. But if you funnel the offensive player into him, he can clean it up. He's he's a good cleanup guy. He's not a good and he's more disciplined than than Jackson Hayes is. 90% of the time you should be running Christian Wood over Jackson Hayes. Certain matchups, certain you know units, maybe you, you, you want uh, Hayes more. But Christian Wood, if he's back and healthy, he's the guy you're probably slotting in 90% of the time. Also, Christian Wood gives you the Rui Hachimura insurance. So if the Lakers do pull off a trade, right? Like you, you have Christian Wood who can kind of play that Rui role. Not necessarily as a three, but as the backup four, right? And then... Let's say you get Valanchunas or whatever. Right? You can have Valanchunas. You could have Christian Wood kind of have that duo. Um, you can kind of run a lot of the same sets and actions that you ran with Rui for Christian Wood. Uh, I wouldn't want Christian Wood just sitting in the corner all day shooting threes. But even J.J. Redick wants Rui kind of tacking the middle of the floor more, getting in post-up positions, all of that, even as the three. You can kind of slot that for Christian Wood. I mean, you could even have like you know, Wood at the at the four on offense, and then have him, you know, elsewhere on defense or vice versa, or have him or ha I mean, have him slotted at the three on offense, and then have him different, you know, at the four on defense, right? So like, say you have LeBron or something out there, right? You can kind of be versatile if you needed to. There's options. There's flexibility. Gives you some insurance if you were to unload other guys. Because, again, this is a guy that could give you real quality production. It's a guy that I think bare minimum should be. There's no reason why Christian Wood shouldn't be a you know 12 and 
six guy. Minimum. No reason at all. He's too good, too versatile offensively. He's not a star. He's not a superstar. He's probably best in that like sixth, seventh man role. But that's fine. Right? You need those guys. You know, it's yeah, it's a five on five game, but you're not just running the same five the entire 48 minutes. You need other guys that can slot in. You need other guys that can fill some of the offense and defensive burdens and workload. Christian Wood is one of those guys. If you put Christian Wood in the right position, he's you're gonna have success with Christian Wood. How do we know that? We've seen it everywhere he's been. Again, look at every season besides the Lakers. 16.6, 17.9, 21, 13, 16.9. Literally, since 2018, the guy's been a 17-point-a-game guy whether he starts or comes off the bench. And it's almost all been off the bench. Why? Because he he's a guy that is, when he's given the role, and he's given the consistency, he's a guy that can deliver. So give him the role, give him the consistency, and let him go deliver. But anyway, as always, it says the discussion. I pass the question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Uh, do you agree with my points? Do you disagree with my points? Are you excited to see what Christian Wood can do? Are you not? How do you feel? Whatever your thoughts are. I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. So we enjoy these types of videos and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.